It's time for a matcha talk. Assalamualaikum. So I am in my comfy spot, as you can see, surrounded by my projects. What about you, Sainbaji? I see you're in a new comfy spot today. I am. So last, there was a feedback last time that the video should be a little bit different. The background was a little bit too dynamic, I think. It was moving too much. So now I'm moving here, but it's like a little bit muted. Well, muted in movement, but definitely not muted in personality no. because this is my room. It's like a greenish, bluish color with like patterns and I, I just love it. So I hope you all like this background. Let me know Good. what you think I about like it. it. Yeah. And then before we jump into our next little thing here, today we are going to be talking about movies. Again, I know, but like in a different sense it's gonna be movies and like muslims and muslims and movies and like how that goes not necessarily in the way you're thinking because we've touched on this topic here and there but today we're gonna delve into it uh but before we do let's go ahead and get into our comment caffeine what is it let's go <laughs> yeah so i have that today's comment caffeine and it's actually a review on our itunes uh, on itunes like an itunes review for the podcast and this is what the review says five stars just saying it says it's become my companion i haven't consumed podcasts in a long time in a long while and matcha talk was my first to go to it has since become my companion whilst cooking and cleaning Really enjoy the back and forth, unfiltered conversation and listening to unique perspectives. Yeah. It's like a cozy chat that makes you think too. And that's one of the best though, best kind. May your hands be blessed for working on this and may you continue to be of service in the community for as long as he wills. Amin. Amin. That is what? so nice. I really like that one. The common caffeine energy that comes from dua is like can't compare it so for the duas and so happy that our podcast is serving the purpose that was the purpose yeah, isn't it that was i really like hearing that you know the whole kind of idea is you guys are here joining us for matcha you know it's kind of like a coffee house but it's different it's matcha it's the way that we do it and it's a little bit more of a let's have a conversation that's a little deeper than what you might be used to you know so i'm just glad to hear that someone else is, too. is getting that which we wanted them to get from it you know so mm -hmm. thank you for joining us uh with your matcha you know potentially so that's really yeah. nice and just to remind our audio viewers that this is a podcast. It is available as a video on YouTube as well. You want to sneak in here and join us in our live format. And for our video audiences, you can find us as a podcast as well. So sometimes you can't be accessing video because you might be driving. You can always pull us up as a podcast on your favorite app and leave a review so that we can highlight you as well in our comment caffeine session yes and then again we are matcha talk everywhere because that's who we are matcha so, talk matcha yeah talk, that's how you can find us in case somehow you missed it but that's what it is all right so summer let's get back to our topic today tell yes. me what happened okay so i it, i saw a trailer for a movie okay mm -hmm. and this movie had a Muslim character in there as the main cast, not necessarily like just antagonist. Uh, <laughs> but you know, so it was a yeah. Big... I'm like this can go. I was like this can go either way. Oh wait, wait, no, no, it can't. <laughs> yeah, it can only go one way. But yeah. but things are changing. Things are changing a little bit. Yeah. Go ahead, tell us what was in the trailer. So one, it was the Muslim was a hijabi and uh, it again. It was kind of just supportive but she was the main there were two main characters basically it was a coming of age kind of a story and it, so it was kind of about youth and that kind of thing they're like in middle school high school whatever so it's young uh and then they were kind of so she was just anyway so i don't even know where how, how to exactly articulate as you can see so she won she was supporting the main character 
And I don't know if she's Muslim in real life or not, or it was just a character being portrayed on screen. I don't really mind either way because there was a hijabi on the big screen and that's just a huge accomplishment. So, or yeah, yeah maybe it was on Netflix or something. But anyway, it was in y- yani, like a movie format. There was a hijabi on the screen. Mm-hmm. So I think that's a huge thing. Um, the story itself, though, it gets a little strange because you kind of on the anyway so the main character was a young boy i think and he was not he was i I think he had a little bit of the imposter thing in that he was playing one thing in front of some people but when he started to become more truthful to himself people didn't like him for it so he wanted to be, uh, or he wanted to do currently and in the future, what his aim was, was to be a drag queen. That was his thing. And people didn't like that about him. They were like, no, that's not like, they. I think they made fun of him or something. Um, but the Muslim girl is his friend and it's not i don't think it was a romantic thing at all i don't think so which is fine and i was actually happy to see that because okay it's not always about just romance right Uh, and so yeah and so that's what he was aiming to be he was aiming to be a drag queen and she's just supporting him being like hey i'm your friend i accept you you're good you do what you want to do live your life the way you want to live it and like people gonna say what they're gonna say so you do what you want to do and she was very supportive in that manner and like I said, it was just about those two. I think in the trailer, it was at least just those two. So a positive view of Muslims, but it was about a topic that not all Muslims are behind. So it seemed interesting. The thing, the thing I'm noticing a lot, though, is, is the shift in how Muslims are being portrayed within the last 20. Has it been 20 years? Yeah, 20 years, right? Mm-hmm. 2000s. About. Yeah. I mean, 20 years is, is, I can say that because that's when I came into a realization. Like, I was, I became a teenager and then I know what's going on kind of a thing. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know what it was before then, but I kind of expect it to be horrible, if at all, if anything, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, actually, so we saw a documentary on, who was that? Um, Bruce Lee. It was a Bruce Lee documentary, and there and he's Asian, obviously. Right. And they were talking about how he has so much difficulty coming into the the movie scene because they wanted to portray the the you know Eastern Asians to be this always into this martial arts yeah. and stuff. And he's like, oh, I am more than that. So he had difficulty in that. I cannot imagine if the, if there was any brown people on the screen or a Muslim person on the screen. Actually, I don't think I don't think. And you know, I think this is something we need to differentiate is that very clearly this character that i'm speaking of was a muslim because she was a hijabi so once she Mm -hmm. was brown skinned of some sort i don't know where she was from or anything but she did have brown skin so there's that instant minority and then two she was a hijabi yani a muslim another level to that minority level there there's just like so many things that are going on right now (laughs) and talking about the differences so before we were all like all right muslims are in the terrorist concept like always we were just there for that it would be like a scary looking man and he wants to blow somebody up and then there is this poor wife or in some case she's a poor wife or in some case she's a complicit wife right it was like it was that scenario where she's wearing all black and she's like all serious and never smiles and and now we have this little different culture where we have a mixture of the brown, the black, and the the gay or lesbian, etc. Right? So it's like we have to put them all into one, or we don't. It's like a package deal. <laughs> and every time, and and you know, talking about Muslim hijabis, they always show the brown hijabi, and I'm like, y'all need to stop. Okay, I can't I can't yeah. tell anyone to stop. But it's like we have so many colors in our like like a black person could actually be a black hijabi. They're totally possible. Exactly. Because it's a religion, it's not a race, it's not an ethnicity, it's a choice. And yeah, people do choose to be Muslims. We're not all oppressed. What a shock. At the same time, I'm kinda like it's kinda like a girth thing that they don't represent every color as as hijabi, like visibly Muslim maybe, because because only the brown people get the br- brunt for that. You know, oh. maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. Right? I mean, I think our black brothers and sisters have enough going on for but them you, to be like having imagine, that stigma. <laughs> yo, hold on. Can you imagine, though, like a movie with all white cast, 
like all the other movies and then one of them is just like muslim or like two or three but like obviously and like whoa that can oh happen oh my god two and three muslims i can't i don't even know what that will look like right i don't know either i don't know either but like unapologetically and they're all just white because that's the norm right and then this is the minority influence it's a different religion so, I mean, I, I don't want to come across as being ungrateful because I think <laughs> normalizing and representation is important. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you for putting us, I guess, in a movies where, I don't know, stuff's going on. Uh, but it becomes complicated because we have moralities and we have values and movies as a whole don't represent that. And so it's like, do we even need to be there? Or if we are, then do we even have a say? Because we can never, ever truly be happy. But that's We're never going to be happy. These kind of movies, they're not about the Muslims, though. Like, the Muslim is always a side character. Shoot, the minority is always a side character. Or it's a full minority movie, which is, like, different vibe. Let me tell you something. Uh, I had a, a friend who was very, very Christian and, mashallah, like very much into her faith. And she told me one time, like, hey, Samia, watch this documentary, uh, a movie, excuse me, movie on Netflix. And she gave me a title of it. And uh, it was definitely like a Muslim inspired movie, right? And I was like, all right, all right, cool. Let's see that. Because we, we used to talk about faith with each other, but never, you know, never like seriously. So I was excited about it. I started watching this documentary. Oh my god. And it was it was about a lady who's Syrian. She was not practicing and that eventually she starts practicing but she's getting too extreme. She's wearing a hijab and parents are like, "Why are you doing that?" And she would only wear the black hijab and they're like, "Why are you doing that?" And then eventually she starts going extreme extreme to the point that she leaves the country and she goes to Syria, gets married to a terrorist there. And I don't know, I think she gets pregnant. I don't know. And the terrorist husband dies and she has like another terrorist husband. And then she's trying to come back. It was like, you know, I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> like, how am I supposed to have this conversation with my friend now? So we met for the following time over sushi, I think it was. And then she's like, okay, so what do you think about that movie? And I was like, all right, let's talk about this movie because OMG, so that much was a messed up movie. And at yeah. this point, I'm like, is this going to be a good conversation? Is it going to be a weird conversation? Right. It can go so, I mean, either yeah. way. Yeah, so, so that has been our representation for so long that it almost is something that I've begun to expect, right? Every Absolutely. time you're, you're like, opening scene, brown person, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I know then, where this is going. And then every time you see a brown person is like, white savior movie. Or Bollywood, which is like, I don't, well, I mean, that's a whole other thing. But yeah. it's like... The Bollywood a, a is, is a brown industry anyway, so we're talking about the Western world here. Okay, yeah, let's just kind of clarify that's kind of what we're talking about in the Western world and the yeah. Western movies that we've seen uh, here growing up in America. So that's kind of like you, they're boxed into these very specific tropes where, like you said, they're the antagonist. The only time you see a brown person is like when he's about to do something violent or even if you see it on TV on TV screens, there have been programs where that person looks suspicious and they have brown skin and they're Muslim or, and they're praying. Let's not talk oh, about. <laughs> we found a prayer rug with him. Ooh, extreme. Do you remember? Okay, that? The, 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 some kind of TV show that we watched, and they literally he was suspicious because he had a prayer rug with him. Like really? No, I don't understand that. You Honestly, got, you got your Bible on you. Like, what's the difference? Right. Anyway, it's nothing so actually. It's, it's always very negative, is what I'm trying to say. And I gotta say, I was so happy to see Wakanda. Like, oh my, Yanni, Black Panther was everything. It was everything. And okay, they didn't necessarily show Muslims in there, but in the beginning, they did. I don't know if you remember, they had like hijabis oh, in there. Oh yeah, um, I had mixed I, opinions about that. Me one. too, me too. But they were there. It was kind of like not the biggest thing, which is fine. Iron Man also had things that I really disagree with. I mean, it and. That's Marvel anyways. But what I really liked about Black Panther was they actually brought that kind of culture. He was wearing non-Western clothing. They were talking about And he was ideals. rocking it. He was killing it. And they were talking mm -hmm. about ideals that weren't Western. And they were actually talking about, 
you know, like this is Africa, which has a very particular connotation in the Western world. Oh, they're not advanced. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, we're more advanced than you. And and this is this this is who we are. And they were very proud about it. And they celebrated the differences. They still had the different tribes. So they're like, not only are we advanced, we're OK with differences like they killed that game. And then I just loved I just loved the fact that he was wearing something. And it was another friend I was talking to. She's from Egypt. And we were just having this discussion. Oh, my God, we watched the movie and like it was great. It was brotherhood. It was boss. and It was awesome. And one thing both of us talked about was, did you see what the guy was wearing? Because I was like, that looked like a Shirvani or something. And she was like, yeah, we have that same thing in our culture too or like i was like he was also wearing this thing which looks almost like a toti really but i mean you know whatever that's what it looked like and oh, but yeah. it was a it was like a really nice one you know i got it, i just loved everything and she was like yeah we also have that too so they represented other cultures in a way that like multiple cultures can kind of agree with what is it like moana style which is fine they celebrated it that's what it was about and the white Dude, people th were ancillary which is like oh that's a shift that's that a shift. actually is really cool uh, that is a testament to africa and how it contains so many things that Absolutely. we enjoy and we're like oh it's ours but you're like i don't really think it's ours i think you know it's someone else's and we've adopted it and we enjoy that so i think that that's actually pretty cool that's a testament yeah. to the, the the diversity that exists in africa of all yeah. these walks of life yeah. but you know how cool that is right like this the the thing i think we really liked about that was that unapologetic proud representation exactly of an exactly. ethnicity and talking about unapologeticness the first person that we know in the west is um muhammad ali right he was like in your face i'm a muslim he was and so, i'm a celebrity he was so obvious about it he's like and, mm -hmm. and you know the interesting thing they actually asked him they actually asked him plenty of times they were like hey uh you're 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 muslim now or like what is your what about your faith or like what's this about they actually asked him these kind of questions on tv and the dude's mm -hmm. like yeah this is what i believe this is who i am and if you're gonna say something about it let's get in the ring no and he didn't even like he didn't say oh yeah i'm a muslim moving on to the next topic he was no, like he i'm was a muslim like, let's talk and about this it. is what i believe in and this is how it is and y'all need to be on the same game too and i'm like yeah but now we have khabib I don't know who that is. Do you know? Oh my god. Y'all get her <laughs> on the thing. <laughs> what are you talking Habib, about? Habib, I cannot say his last name. Honestly, I'm not into sports. I believe he's an MMA fighter. And oh. Yes. No, I know, do the know about sports. Him. I do. I have seen a, a picture and they were like, respect this guy. And I was like, oh, that's Yeah, what he and did. to cool. me, he represents that same kind of unapologetic. I am a Muslim, alhamdulillah in your face, you know. And every yeah. time he wins, he would uh, do the Jews yeah. on the ground. Yeah. So I'm like, God, where where is that? Like someone uh, actually made a post on Instagram, very like today actually. And they were saying how we are so used to seeing that oppressed and sad and representation of Muslims that they're suffering or they're going through X, Y, and Z. Oh my God, people in Syria. And you have these sad images and obviously in Africa, sad images. And it's the, like, here's this person. Are, are never empowered or like yeah. minority in general never empowered that's the word and he's on here and he's like this is me you know yeah. and i'm like yeah i want to be that like this is how i feel I think we had the conversation a little bit on social media before where people would kind of approach it. And even I did when I started Sunnah Living. I was like, oh, I just want to show people that's what Muslims are. We're normal mm -hmm. people. We drink matcha. We work on our planners. We work on gardening. That's what we, we do. We grow trees and have chickens yeah. just like everybody. <laughs> yeah. And then slowly shifted to the point where I'm like, hang on a second. Why am I doing that? Why do I need to qualify my existence in social media and be like, oh, yeah, this is my existence and it's actually normal? Like, how demeaning is that to to myself as a person? Yeah. Like, I need to be like, I am a Muslim. This is and, and everything I do is because I'm a Muslim and it's the best religion ever. And I'm the happiest person doing it, yeah. you know. So I think that kind of a mentality to, to see that openly is it's still not as common as I want it to be. And I think it's going to be a struggle when it comes to the movie scene. We still have a long way to go. And I'm not really sure if I care about 
making waves in the movie industry anyway because i don't know i feel iffy about that whole thing but it's nice to see when it's a positive it's just about again representation when you see someone like you on the big screen is like oh okay my kind of people do exist here on the in the mainstream you know it's the same thing kind of well i don't want to go there but you I know, it's know. just seeing yourself in other in other people but I, I will say something i think it's very important representation definitely is very important and i think when as a society it is but maybe i am talking about an individual approach that if that i think we don't as an individual person let's not look for um what is it called validation elsewhere let's exactly. not do that if we don't exactly. see if you don't see a muslim figure who's doing awesome things we're not shaken by that yeah. Like, if you don't think that we're positive people, that's your problem, actually. Like, I am not affected by your problem. Like, individually, that's how yeah. I think we need to approach that. Instead of being like, oh, man, that was a chance and they blew it, which I do feel you that know, a lot. I, that's, yeah. the, that's what I was going to say. And actually, I did want to talk about it. The current Muslims or brown people, and I am going to I am gonna mix them because in the West, they are mixed. So okay. I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of going to go there, um, call me a hypocrite, but you know, kinda, I, whatever. And so the Muslims or the brown people that we see in the West, uh, I, I, I don't think they're much on the big movie screen. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember any off the top of my head. As like a main person um, or? Yeah. Oh, yeah, by yeah, the way, I mean, there's going to be a Muslim Marvel, we talk about Marvel, uh, superhero I heard some TV show, right? It's not a movie. Oh, it's a TV show. Yeah, it's oh, like Disney oh, Channel. Oh yeah, kind you're of right. Stuff. Yeah, it's it's, it's not different. something too big, but and and uh, Disney Channel's yeah. gonna do. I don't know how much I trust them anyway. But <laughs> what I was gonna say is the current people that we do see, uh, kind of you know whatever. So one of them is the queer eye dude. He's brown, unapologetically brown. I think. Is he? Oh yeah, the 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 designer, the one who wears like coats like silver coats and white hair i think yeah yeah he has like gray hair gray hair yeah oh, silver and whatever but i think i don't know if he's unapologetically or apologetically i, think I don't he know if he talks a, i don't know does he I, I think i saw a little bit of a documentary not a documentary sorry, like a youtube video of him talking i don't know if he owns that that would be i don't watch i don't yeah. watch that show so i don't know uh, yeah me neither but and go ahead what your point was the, and then the comedian um, who came out with his show that we talked Hassan Minhaj. Hassan Minhaj. And there's another guy, uh, but he kind of disowned his Muslim identity, which I didn't he appreciate, a, but whatever. He he made a movie, the other Muslim community, he made a movie. The Big Sick. About, we, I saw the, it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. And that was, kind of, that was kind of like, okay, talking about no, it, but like it not wasn't. really owning it. Did you, oh I, God, didn't that movie. it. I didn't Dude, see it. I didn't see it. That movie was interesting because it had a multicultural thing and the guy was interested in marrying a white woman. And you know how that is a huge thing in our community. So I was totally into that because that's my life. And I was like, let's watch this. And in the end, the guy doesn't even appreciate a Muslim identity. At one point, mm -hmm. he's almost like, I don't even know if I'm a Muslim. So he basically, and that's his reality because he represents it. Like that's his his real life story. Right. And in which he he's like, oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not that, you know. So I was kind of really disappointed about that. I was like, he, he, again, he it was, own it. and maybe because he felt this, this is, was his life. He did not practice his faith. He didn't care about his faith and that's how he pursued his life. But I was kind of like sad about it because it just didn't feel, you know, it didn't feel that empowering thing yeah like i, I think I you know. can say i'm not a muslim without making it seem like a negative thing you can say that i, I just want to be careful you know? i don't want to say that he didn't practice his faith i don't know what he said it openly oh, over he? there oh i don't know yeah okay. he was quite he was quite open about it in okay. the movie so in the movie you can say yeah he did okay so i mean there's that another example uh of someone of brown origin <laughs> in in movies and then mindy Mindy something, you remember her? Oh, Mindy, Mindy Kaling, I right, think something? that's her name. Yeah, and she came out with yeah. her own show mm -hmm. and stuff uh, at one point. Yeah. I, don't, I never she's, watched she's, either. She's so becoming a figure. She's becoming a figure. I think she's done several movies. She was in that Ocean's 13 or 18 movie. What's where, she? Ocean's 8. Yeah, she was there. That's super cool. I didn't know that. 
Yeah, they had Rihanna there and then they had her there. I knew, yeah, so uh, I knew about Riri. I didn't know about her. I didn't see that movie either, so I don't know. <gasps> you didn't uh, see? I thought we saw it together. Didn't we see it together? No, I wanted to. I wanted to see the oceans. Uh, um, I liked it. One. It was a good one. I enjoyed it. I liked. I liked women owning things. I, like I mean, it. we're not even gonna talk about women in movies. That's not even happening. Um, and then I can't think of anything other than these four examples now was he was he muslim no he was a muslim um there was another black actor somewhere and yeah I the was um was he marshallah ali yeah he's good he actually won an oscar he he identifies as a muslim yeah there we go well there's something you know whether or not i mean allah knows you know how you practice and whatever but okay there we go so what I'm trying to say is that you can kind of count on your hands the Muslim or brown figures in uh, American social media but or man, so American media. And I didn't know not summer. all of them and not all of them are actually owning their brownness. Now, you know, you know, uh, what, 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 is it Superwoman? No, Woman? Summer. Do you okay, know Superwoman? Oh, you, yeah, you're only talking about brown here, right? You're only talking about brown. You're not talking I'm about talking Muslim. brown or Muslim. Like, I don't know any outwardly like that i know that they're muslim out on tv or movies no there is probably i think hassan minaj is the only person only of all of them one. uh mindy kaling i don't think she's a muslim she's, she's I don't not think a muslim so. yeah i told i said it right in the beginning i'm i'm gonna conflate the two because in western yeah world, um i don't conflated. look the the reality is it's not possible for a practicing muslim to be on the big screen it's just not possible. I don't think that is an accurate statement at all. Why? How is that? You can't be you can't be an actor and a Muslim at the same time, depending on what kind of movie it is. Depending but, on what kind of movie it is. Yeah, but I You're don't think... You're telling me a Muslim couldn't play Dr. What was it? What was it? Benedict Cumberbatch's role in the Marvel movies? Dr. Strange? You think a Muslim couldn't play Dr. Strange? You think a Muslim couldn't play him? Hulk, okay, I th- maybe Hulk, but like, come on, there are opportunities. The, what I will say is, for a you person, think Black Panther couldn't have been Muslim. Summer, hang on, hang on. So what I'm trying to, <laughs> Don't what I'm saying is, a person who is valuing their spirituality, getting on the big screen and acting is not their main thing. The 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 you're talking about Black Panther. He got he had been doing so many things before when he got to this point. So you're looking yeah. at his movie where, oh, the portrayal could be potentially halal, all right? Let's put that word, potentially halal out there. But then what are you doing before to get to that point? Like, it's not a clean industry. That's fine. I'm not saying you're going to be on the big, big screen, but like... Well, that's what we there... were saying. That's what I was saying. It's not what possible. What I see, what I'm saying about big screen is that movies, like in general, whether that's on like, what is it, the Sun Sundance Film Festival... Or if it's, like, the actual Oscars, whatever. I don't know. Or, you know, what I'm saying is you can be an actor and a Muslim. It is yes. harder to be, like, a mainstream actor. Because, like you said, you're going to have to do some things which, you know, you might not agree with. And that's fine. That's a different But that that's, different I think, that's what I was trying to say. I don't want to say you cannot be a Muslim or an actor. You can be a Muslim, you can be anything else. But when it comes to acting and a practicing Muslim, I don't think the two are ever going to be the... Are they ever going to coincide? I still 100% disagree with you. What are you like? We can't. You you cannot. You you cannot be practicing and be like, oh, look, I'm going to play this role in a TV. Or I'm, you know, we're talking about not only the portrayal. We're also looking about like a really big movie where potentially you would have had to do some things together. Not only that, I'm also talking about the industry itself. I'm talking about the morals and values. When a person who is practicing, they want to see where their money is coming from. It's not only about what I'm doing, but where's the money coming from? How is it being used and whatever, whatever. When it comes to the movie industry, that stuff is not clean. You're not going to see Sheikh Hamza Yusuf or Sheikh Omar Suleiman or Yasmin Mogahed Ustada or Sheikha to be coming up and be like, oh, yeah, let me play the superhero. You won't see that because we're not, it's not part of our, our Muslim, a practicing Muslim spiritual identity to be showing up and playing movies. That's just not it. 
I don't think we can have this conversation because we are in completely different aspects of this. That's like, fair. And I've actually talked uh, about kind of so poetry uh, has been, you know, like the Quran poetry, is like yes. a poem. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a poem. We have very beautiful and the poetry. Way, yeah. And the way that it used to be uh, shared was, you know, and, and even now the way it's recited is in a very beautiful manner. Uh, you could perform, in a sense, poetry because of the way that you recite it, the way that you share it. So I actually, I think I, I was having this conversation with my mom, with our mom, about performance. And I think about the same kind of subject, acting, but we were talking about it kind of from the, uh, the, the, the Baki dramas and things and how they are. So we were talking about it in that way. And she said something similar is that, no, the entire industry is not a good industry. It's not clean. It's not a good environment to be in. And you can't really hold on to your faith and be part of that community. And I was like, I mean, I completely disagree. There's good and bad to everything. The whole dunya is full of good and bad. Like, you can't just be like, this entire place is all bad unless you're talking about, you know, like, like a clear... Like Hollywood. Place, right? I again completely disagree completely the arts are thought provoking and the arts are good and bad that's what the arts are that's what it is so I completely disagree you're looking at you said you use example of poetry and then you're like expanding it this is what we were that's what we were that's what we were talking about okay so forget the movies what I was saying with Ami was about the poetries and things with our ma and I was like okay to further expound upon a point to perform it to add characters to the poetry now we're getting into plays now we're getting into oh like, you're what is Shakespeare. i i think you are stretching poetry oh no are poetry you kidding shakespeare poetry. is not poetry shakespeare is a play he's a playwright he's not poet he's not a poet he's never been oh a poet oh my god just, be- just dude just because he rhymes and he has those cadences does not mean his plays are poetry the plays are plays poetry is poetry i believe he has poems i think he has poems a collection of he poems. Has poems within the play but i we think he actually has poems if i'm i may be mistaken but i think he has a poem collection and then plays are not poetry you dude oh. I, plays can be poetic. Oh my god! Yes, plays can be poetic, but they're not poetry. Whatever you have, I, oh you god. have in the in the Islamic tradition, the Muslim tradition, early Muslim, and the Prophet was still there. You have this a representation of poems that we po- and po- poetry was considered uh, a language of the educated. That's how people would communicate with each other. That was yeah. poetry, and there are many poets since then. Many scholars and people of our tradition who have done beautiful poetry. There was never, as far as I know, any conversation of people playing, like having a play and being like, oh, yeah, we can totally do that. Poetry was always accepted, but plays and people acting and doing all sorts of things. I've never heard that in the Islamic tradition. No, I, I haven't either in the Islamic tradition, but I just don't know. Dude, all right, all right. But I comment below it, if you think plays and poetry are the same thing or if you're like me and you say oh yeah they are two different words for a reason look i'm not gonna say that they're the same thing (laughs) but a play plays are poetic and plays have poems in them good ones arguably the point the reason that they're similar let me make my case the reason that they're similar is or or that i am kind of saying they're very similar is that the it's kind of in a very concise package of words right you are really getting to the heart of something exploring something and kind of talking about it in a way with multiple meanings to invoke some kind of thought from the listener that's the same the added aspect of a play is that it would have a storyline or a plot though arguably some plays like modern plays are not this way but the added thing is that there is a visual aspect to plays and poems are strictly verbal but i think the point is very similar if not the same that was my two cents (laughs) anyways i think i don't 
I don't I don't know that we can agree on that particular aspect that a practicing Muslim can or cannot be an actor to any capacity. Because you're saying zero capacity. I'm like saying to some, I think you can. Man, there are very respected scholars in the tradition who actually say that you shouldn't even have TV in your homes. Because what it brings in is something that is not very good. So, I mean, you have that opinion as well. And then there's some who uh, watch movies, but they're very careful kind of movies that they were like watching. <sighs> so you have, you know, you have I mean, all look, the spectrum. TV, look, TV, movies, and plays... I have always viewed as three different things. And musicals don't count. They're like not part of this at all. I don't like musicals. So there's just a different conversation. But I've always said there are three different things. I've always viewed them personally as three different things. So I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, the only, the only, um, <laughs> recently, I've, I haven't really gotten too much into it still. We watched a couple of episodes in the beginning of Ertuğrul, the Turkish drama. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the only one where it's like um, Islam is something to be proud of. Being part of Islam is something to be proud of, and they own it, and it's very, very beautiful. And I think it was one of the, one of the, I call them Facebook sheikhs sometimes. One of the Facebook sheikhs he talked about, he's like, oh, even in there, like, there's this questionable, you know, it's not it cannot be all perfect right it cannot be all perfect mm-hmm. you cannot have possible mm-hmm. and i think that's exactly what the point is that if you make it a perfect situation in a movie no one would watch it because it's not at all interesting because you don't have yeah, that display no of beauty What's... you don't have that romance you don't have any of that it's got very so then then it just is not interesting at that point but i mean so so there are some very few and i think you're probably not going to find that if you're looking for that proud muslim moment you're not gonna find it in the west but i mean don't ignore all the other stuff that's out there right because living in the west we were taught to be like everything else is less than but i mean man earth rule man i i know i didn't want to get into it because it's like 400 700 i don't know 900 episode i don't know how long it's been going oh my god is it yeah so that's why i'm like oh i don't want to do this but i we just saw like a couple of them we meaning me and my husband and oh my gosh it was such it was good to see it. It was good to see yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's one thing that I enjoy about like certain dramas and stuff. They actually have the setting of, oh, it's like a Muslim setting, you know, like Baki dramas. And I enjoy that because they're owning it. And it's so different to me, you know, seeing the Western I, media. We talked about Baki dramas and how they annoy me. So I don't, I don't, I, I think Baki is not owning a Muslim setting. They're owning a Pakistani setting. And that's cool. That's fine. Not there are some almost. dramas that yeah. do. Yeah. We just, we, oh my God, we're but just I, at odds today. But, <laughs> yeah, we are. But I just feel like even still, there's so much culture in those dramas that it just annoys me. And that's fine. But what I'm trying to say is that it does exist, this kind of platform. Mm-hmm. There are examples within this platform of, you know, like TV or movies, you know of people being Muslim unapologetically as a majority and owning it. And I think it's it's sad that in the Western world where there is, especially America, we're a melting pot, right? And yet here, we don't have any of, we don't have any semblance of pride for the minorities. Like mm-hmm. We got to take a book from the page of Black Panthers, all I'm saying. Because all agree. those tribes are very proud. And he led them. He was like, yeah, be proud. You, you are know, who you are. I-, I would like to just separate that even when it comes to the Western media. Hey, you know what? We're not even talking about Muslim. All right. Just take yeah. a minority and and make them feel good about themselves because we exactly. do feel good about ourselves. Represent the brown people, represent the Arab people, represent, I don't know, Russian people or whatever. Having them be proud of themselves. Like, it's not, you know, on, the proud only comes from the more that we embrace the Western values. Yeah. Um, which are sometimes that's even a quotation mark because what are yes. Western values? Because we're part of the Western value system too, you know? Yes. By the way, the what is it? The Great British Bake Off. It was a hijabi that won that one time. Oh yeah, I she actually has, that was I, believe, I was very yeah I believe I, it's I was her. very happy to see. I can see that representation representation there, 
where you have so nice. yeah those kind of shows where you know it's not about playing a character it's just about representing and and showing off your talent and your skills fine you can see a person yeah. who's practicing muslim there because i mean they could be a practicing muslim and they could also be a baker or they could be somebody and else and it was so nice because like the great british breakoff i don't know what it was about that show i actually didn't watch it but everyone watched it like it was everywhere yeah in i America never did too. Either. it was like a huge thing uh, she I, I has a show like, little bits and pieces it was funny oh my god no way yeah she has a show on netflix in which she goes to other people's houses and cooks for them and actually it's no. cool i liked it it's, it's a Are completely the the muslim is not there it's just her being herself and she shares exactly and she's not cooking with That's pork it. and she's not cooking with wine or anything you know and so it's really cool to see that so yeah i recommend there that. we go yeah See, there we go. There's so let's end on a positive note here. Like there is possibility for good representation of Muslims or just an average Yani, we're normal people, you know? Yeah. Like it's we don't have to be overly, oh, we're superb, like that's you know, whatever. Unrealistic. Or that oh we're so impoverished, so oppressed, that's like whatever. There is we're normal just like everybody else and we can be brown, black, white asian russian whatever you want to you know <laughs> wherever you want to go with that we can be anything latino like we anything. are all of those things exactly. exactly i just love that i just just love that and i th- think there is just a potential for a movie with just one race but multiple religions because they're two different things i just want to end <laughs> on this note right just just end on this because we are hitting our little limit there but I just want to say that we are talking about representation in the movies and how we like it and how we want to see other people being accepted and we want just to be living their own lives. I just want to say that let's not be hypocritical about it and introduce that into our massages as well. Because we're all like, oh, we want to see all different colors, all different things, everyone in coming together. But we don't really see that oh. in our massages. So, all right. So, you know, let's let's represent what we want to exist we want to exist that in a society maybe maybe the reason why they're showing it is because it doesn't exist even in our little subculture it doesn't exist so let's let's do that i was actually i was talking to a christian and they said you know i just asked him i've never really been to a church uh but i know this is kind of how it is in in masjids you know uh is -hmm. it the same and they were like yeah it's yeah. Uh, different different um churches by race i'm like really even your religion which is so but look, m- man, you know, modern day I, interpretation I even... of uh, about love even that is separated by race really i was just shocked a little the bible is not in english not, not surprised <laughs> but like, the bible is in english the bible is different languages so i for them I i'm know. like you know what cool i get it but for us, I'm like, dude, we have a higher standard than this, you know? That's always the thing. What upsets me, we have a higher standard and yet we're not meeting it. And then when other people don't fall into it, we're like, we don't like it because you don't show it in our movies. But, I mean, when it comes to our messages, you know, I just want to be with those who I'm comfortable with. Like, whatever. So we end on that whatever note. <laughs> Fair. I wanted to end on the positive note with no, the baking it, lady. Look, yeah, but we can end on this too. I think that, you know, just to see if we have a board members in the massages or we have groups, right, where we have all different ethnicities being represented, how wonderful does it make a newcomer in the masjid feel? They come in and they're like, yeah. oh, look at that. Look at this person who's representing me, who understands my needs and my culture. And yet here they are trying to make a masjid a place that's open for everybody. So that is a vision that is really positive. Like, I really think we can achieve it. Inshallah, that we can. Yeah. We just have to just be actively seeking for it, inshallah. Inshallah, just work towards it. Get on your masjid board and like call people out on their racism because that's what it is. A topic for another day. A topic for another day. Because I have stories about that one as well. Well, uh, this was All our right. podcast today and a video podcast. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram where we post all our updates. We post quotes. We post clips and teaser clips that are happening on the podcast as a video and the audio. Oh, I think we didn't explain to our video audience that not all of our episodes are going to be videos. Uh, there are some that are videos and all of them are audios. I just want to mention that to our video audience as well. So uh, you may be missing out on some good stuff if you're not on the podcast. But if you're not, cool. That's fine. That's fine. We're still, and then we still I have wanna... good stuff here. 
I just want to hear more from people like our Common Caffeine today, you know, like how are we impacting you? What do you like? What do you think we're, we should focus on more? And at we one of our previous podcasts, I think, I don't think it was a video, I wanted to hear if anyone has any particular um what was it called like particular ways that they deal with illnesses and things and i d i'm still waiting i want to hear what how people deal with that what actions people take yeah that you know? podcast is kind of coming actually, out that one's called the yeah living i was like dead. it's not out yet yeah and we talk yeah, about chronic illness and living with with some of the challenges so, there yeah i hope that by now that by the time this one is released uh we can have a good conversation about it on youtube well not on youtube because that one's just a podcast but on instagram hashtag matcha talk let's have a conversation respond to one of our you know our i think we're gonna have some charged quotes this time <laughs> i think so i gotta, gotta ask you about that yeah and if you just scroll down you can see the say salam section there sometimes you don't want to be very open and you don't want to be talking about your opinions openly say salams is your safe space to be anonymous and you can share with us your opinions what you think what is in your mind some things that you want to talk about what you like in our podcast what you want us to change the podcast all those kind of things uh, you can reach us yeah. there inshallah and tell her how good her background is oh now. yeah <laughs> it is it's good you know this pattern i still haven't finished it because i ran out of the little paint that i was using and so the paint is here and now i need to finish the rest so this is so you've so for the for those that are listening she stenciled on like a silver kind of a pattern mm. but it's not very bright it's kind of like a translucent kind of a silver yeah. on the sea green kind of a blue sea green kind of a, a background and it looks really it looks really nice so incentive watch this on youtube it's really i think it's <laughs> yes. nice all right but yeah we'd love to hear from you guys inshallah thank, thank you, you so much for having some matcha with us today yes and we will see you next time assalamualaikum welcome salam <laughs>